Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in. Since the price of Bitcoin is flashing a very, very interesting scenario, a scenario which is considered as a bullish continuation pattern. But if we look at the overall market structure, we are aware the price of Bitcoin is clearly in a downtrend. But even if we are in a downtrend, can this descending broadening wedge or even this inverse head and shoulder type of scenario still play out in a media short term for Bitcoin? we are going to find that out in today's video so please watch it till the end and also for those individuals watching this for the first time come on guys hit that subscribe button and the bell now starting this year in a monthly time frame i am going to keep it very very simple because we have found out according to this 2b reversal pattern or this m pattern we have already reached the first monthly target area which was around 17 18 000. And now, according to this 2B reversal pattern, the area of confluence, the next area of confluence is around 14 to 15,000 price range. This lower price target is still open according to this 2B reversal pattern. And in a worst case scenario, if we are going to follow this Fibonacci extension line, then the 100% Fibonacci line is lying around 11 to 12,000 price range. So if we look at this in a bigger scale, the train is clearly showing this downward movement. And this is also a sign that maybe the price of bitcoin is only going to find bottom after retesting this lower area around this 15000 and even around this 11 to 12000 price range so please be careful because any sort of a bullishness here in a media short term for bitcoin could just be a temporary price movement so please keep this in mind and also for those individuals who has missed my video from yesterday it's a very very important video because i showed you why the crypto market is still correlated with the traditional market for example s p 500 and in s p 500 the market had just started to show this weakness so that's why if we are going to see further retracement in the trades in the market we are also going to witness that checkout here in price action of bitcoin and crypto market in general so that's why if we focus on the traditional market maybe the price of bitcoin is going to see a further retracement even after showing this bullish price movement here in a media short term and beside this in a monthly time frame we are also aware the price of Bitcoin in a daily time frame has not reached the target from this bearish flag because according to this bearish flag, the price of Bitcoin has already started this downward movement. So if this trend is going to continue here to the downside, then according to this bearish flag, you can see our price target is going to be around this 14 to 15,000 range. And we have just found out that in a monthly time frame, this 14 to 15,000 range is also the area of confluence in a monthly time frame. So that's why, guys, that's why this lower target is making a lot of sense even though here in the medium short term the price of bitcoin could show some bullishness please do not get fooled and for the medium short term why the price of bitcoin could show this relief rally or even holding the support around this 19 to 20 thousand is because yesterday i showed you according to the descending channel the price of bitcoin has found support each and every time we tested the lower line area just like if i'm past price action i mean price testing the support around this lower line area has always led to a movement here in this manner a consolidation even a small breakout before finally breaking it to the downward direction so something like this could be also on the line so please guys please do not over leverage yourself and use proper risk management strategy so even if the price of bitcoin is going to see this bullishness we don't want to get trapped i mean we know around this price range of 24 25 000, we have some very very strong line of resistance lying around for bitcoin and now if you look at this williams alligator indicator also this williams alligator indicator is going to be acting as a strong line of resistance because if you remove this descending channel and simply look at this williams alligator indicator in a downtrend please remember in a downtrend this williams alligator indicator is always going to be acting as a line of resistance you can see each and every time the price tried to break above it we got rejection because whenever this williams alligator indicator has this bearish crossover i mean this blue line appearing at the top and green line at the bottom in that case right this williams alligator indicator is going to be a strong line of resistance but if we see the opposite i mean the green line not at the bottom but at the top and blue line at the bottom then you can see this same williams alligator indicator acts as a support right you can see and this has unfolded again and again i mean if you look at the bigger picture the price of bitcoin in uptrend has always held support around this williams alligator indicator so if we want to show an actual trend reversal first 
we have to overcome this obstacle obstacle around this 200 weekly simple moving average right which is around 22,400, and also above this monthly s1 line which is around 24,700 area if the price does manages to break above this 22,400 and even come across this monthly s1 line and find support above it then then guys this is going to be an actual continuation pattern here towards this 30,000 area before price chooses and trend duration why because then we are not just only going to break the resistance from this monthly s1 line right we are also going to break the resistance from this williams alligator indicator this upper line will be broken so that's why guys that's why we want the price of bitcoin to break this crucial resistance line before calling it an actual trend reversal so please keep this in mind and beside this example what i also want to talk about is this one bullish scenario now before i switch into other chart i just want to make you aware bybit is organizing this event wsot race to the next level with a price pool up to 8 million usdt i am taking part if you want to be part of my community and trade along with me then do join this squad because if you join as a squad member then they will ask you to write the name which squad leader are you going to choose so if you want to choose me as a squad leader then our group name is piranha piranha because you know piranha never hunts alone so that's why i chose this name so if you want to be part of the piranha community then do join it here it's a very very simple process the link is provided in the description down below Mario, let me show you one more time in a very simple way so if we look at this in a very very simple way what we can do is we can add this bullish scenario here in a medium short term which is known as descending broadening wedge because according to this descending broadening wedge in a downtrend it is considered as a very very bullish scenario and also we are aware the overall market structure is still looking very weak so the question remains will this bullish scenario play out because if this bullish scenario is going to play out we have to overcome this obstacle around 21,200 21,300 then we could be showing this bullish movement towards this 200 weekly simple moving average because we know if this trend continuation is going to happen then the first target is always the top of this descending broadening wedge and not just only that if you also look at the price action inside this descending broadening wedge we could be also forming inverse head and shoulder type of pattern because if this retracement is going to happen first there might be a retest around this 0.5 to 0.618 fibonacci line because for us this 0.5 and the golden pocket label around 19,000 to 19,600 this area is a very very interesting area so that's why if the price of bitcoin is going to see a further refreshment for us to retest the golden pocket area then that should be absolutely normal so please keep this in mind i mean price showing further weakness testing the support around this 0 0.618 and then showing another bullish niche right and finally trying to break above this 23,000 to 24,000 range because we know we also have this inverse head and shoulder type of scenario playing out so if we are going to get this retracement to form this right shoulder around this 0.5 to 0.618 fibonacci line then that should be a very very normal scenario as well so please do not forget that because this pullback could be a test around this 0.5 fibonacci line even the golden pocket level before showing this bullishness so if this is going to play out then we have to overcome this obstacle doesn't matter if this is the upper line area from this descending broadening wedge or even the neckline from this head and shoulder this inverse head and shoulder so that's why guys that's why for us this 21,000 200 21,100 is a very very important resistance for the media short term please do not confuse yourself the actual resistance here in a weekly time frame or even in a daily time frame is around 22,400 and 24,700 so this is an actual resistance what we have to overcome and this here is just a temporary resistance in a smaller time frame so if the price of bitcoin does manages to break above it 
then we could be seeing this continuation pattern here to the upper duration here in the media short term for Bitcoin. So let's hope that the price of Bitcoin does somehow manages to come across this 23, 24,000 before choosing an actual trend direction. So these are some of the quick updates that I wanted to share with you in today's video. If you enjoyed my work, then do hit the like button. And also for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. So by saying this, I'm signing out. My name is Anup. Bye-bye.